Hi, this is Sandy Van Soy for Trekking the Planet. Today we're in the country of Kyrgyzstan in Central Asia. Behind me is Songkhal Lake. It's the second largest lake in the country and it's the ending point of our 10 days here. We started in the capital city of Bishkek and then moved on to three locations in the country to do a series of radio hikes to experience different regions of Kyrgyzstan. Let's take a look at what we did. Kyrgyzstan, formerly Kyrgyzia, is a rugged country situated in Central Asia. The capital of Bishkek is a modern city with a public transportation system, parks, and restaurants offering international cuisine. You can still see the Soviet influence in the buildings as well as uniforms worn by the army. While in Kyrgyzstan, we visited three locations. The first was Karakol Natural Park, a day's drive from Bishkek. On the way there and back, we visited two archaeological sites each dating to the 11th century. When we arrived in the park, we were in for a surprise on our first so-called acclimatization hike. We started at about 8,400 feet or 2,560 meters and peaked out at over 10,800 feet or 3,300 meters in only three miles or five kilometers. Needless to say, this was like no other trekking we had done so far on this expedition. With the weather getting bad, we decided to call this hike short and return to camp. The second site we visited was Tashrabat, the location of a well-preserved 15th century stone traveler's rest house, although others argue it could have been a Christian church or Buddhist monastery. Tashrabat had an otherworldly, super remote feel to it. The hike here, too, was challenging. We had covered 13 miles, or 21 kilometers, in a little over seven hours, including breaks and lunch. We gained 1,600 feet, or 488 meters, during the hike. And then there was some scrambling required to hike up and down over two river valleys. By far the most beautiful and even awe-inspiring site was Songkul Lake. This is another remote region of the country that is used almost exclusively by nomads during the summer months to graze their cows, horses, sheep, goats, and yaks. While we were there, we had the opportunity to interview a nomad. When we arrived, she and her daughter were rolling out cheese balls made of goat's milk. Perfect. We had the opportunity to drink mare's milk, which is the milk of a female horse. After trying the milk, we had a chance to ask a few questions. It turns out that this woman's family arrived on June 8th and planned to return to her village at lower elevations on about October 1st, just before they anticipate the temperature to really drop. Her husband's family had been coming to this very location for generations. However, because of the communication gap, we weren't able to determine the exact number of generations. Her primary language was Kyrgyz. We very much enjoyed our time in Kyrgyzstan. It was so refreshing to see the wide open spaces and meet the delightful people here. We are looking forward to visiting our final country in Central Asia next, which is Uzbekistan. That's all for now. Check back later for more updates. Thanks.